Good morning and welcome to today's Sunday service. Let's bow our heads for a word of prayer. Our everlasting Father, thank you for this day that you have made, O oh Lord. Be with us, O oh Lord, even as we start off this Sunday service, O oh Lord. Amen. I will now like to invite the praise and worship. to join me today. Thank you music team for those wonderful prayer songs and prayer. Let us bow our heads and pray as we begin. Oh God, thank you for this day. Thank you for giving us uh, this opportunity to teach this lesson and may help us to teach um, these people well, our listeners and viewers as well, so that they may learn something from this lesson. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. My name is Joshua Kiprop from Sitem Karen. My co-teachers today uh, Maria Yambo from Sitam Woodley and Teacher Faith. Last week we learned about the parable of, uh, of the pearl of great value from Matthew chapter 13 verse 45. Do you remember what a parable is? A parable is a story which Jesus used to teach his disciples about the important truths of the kingdom of heaven. I hope you have been reading your Bible and doing your daily journal. This will help you grow in your Christian faith. Thank you, Joshua, for the warm welcome and also for reminding us what we learned last, last week. Guys, I hope you have your Bible, I hope you have your notebook and your pen to write down what we're going to learn today. Nerea, would you take us through what our lesson for today? Guys, have you ever lost something that was very precious to you? Joshua, have you ever lost something that was very precious to you? 
Yes, I lost some money which I was hoping to spend in the mall. I never found the money and I felt really bad about it. What about you, Shafiq? Have you ever lost something that was very precious to you? Yes, I did. A friend of mine once brought me a beautiful pair of earrings from her travel abroad. I love to wear the earrings because they are beautiful. But one time when I was going to wear them, I found one was lost. Oh my, I, I couldn't believe it. I felt bad and sad because now I couldn't match my outfit. I've never really found it to this day. Narea, what about you? Have you lost something that was precious to you? Yes, I too once lost a video game called Roblox. My Roblox accounts got hacked and all the precious things I had were gone. By the time I got it back, I felt so sad. Similar to our experiences, there's a parable in the Bible about the lost sheep. That is our lesson today. Let us turn and read. Joshua, could you please read Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7? Yes, Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. It says, Then all the uh, tax collectors and the sinners drew near to him to hear him. And the Pharisees and scribes complained, saying, this man receives sinners and eats with them. So he spoke this parable to them, saying, What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he loses one of them, does he not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the one which is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice in me, for I have found my lost sheep, which was lost. I say to you, that likewise there will be more joy in heaven of our one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. Wow. Thank you, Joshua, for reading for us Luke chapter 15, verse 1 to 7. And thank you, Nerea, for taking us through some of the experiences we've gone through personally about losing things. Would you like to tell us some highlights from the passage we've read today? Guys, highlights of these stories are, one, Sinners often came to listen to Jesus' teaching. Two, Pharisees and scribes, grumbling that Jesus was hanging out with sinners and eating with them. Three, Jesus tells them a parable about a, a man who had a hundred sheep but one got lost. Four, Jesus tells them the man leaves the 99 other sh sheep in the wilderness and goes to look for the one lost sheep. Five, five, Jesus tells them, when the man found his sheep, he joyfully carried it home on his shoulders. Six, he called his friends and neighbors saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found my lost sheep. Seven, in the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one sinner who has repented and turned away from his sins than over 99, sin, over, than over 99 who haven't strayed away. Thank you, Norea, for giving us the highlights of the story. Friends, we learned some key lessons from this passage about the lost sheep. The first one is that Jesus loves and welcomes everybody. Jesus welcomes you, welcomes me, welcomes all the children, our parents, the young people, good people, bad people, and people from all walks of life. You see, John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17 also tells us that our God is mighty to save and that he rejoices over you, over me, and over everybody. I'm sure you know about Psalms 23 which says, The Lord is my shepherd. Jesus is our shepherd and he takes care of his children. Who are his children? All those who have believed in him and have given their lives to him. The second point is that the lost sheep who are the lost sheep? The lost sheep comes in many categories. The first one is children and people who had given their lives to Jesus Christ. But along the way, the cares of this life made their love for Jesus grow cold, so they backslid. They were no longer saved. The second is people who have been going to church, going to Sunday school. They have heard the word, they have believed, but they have not given their lives to Jesus Christ. That means they have not repented and turned away from their sin. The third one is people who have never heard about the love of God. They've never heard because nobody has told them about the love of God. You see, in Isaiah chapter 53 verse 6, it tells us that all of us like sheep, we have gone astray, each one of us to his own way. But also, Romans chapter 3 verse 23 tells us, 
that all of us have sinned and we have fallen short of God's holy standards. But that should not discourage us. You see, God desires us to come to him. And that is why he made a provision for point number three, that Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. All of us have sinned and therefore at one time or another, we have been lost. We are reminded in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, that God is very patient with us and he does not want anyone to perish because of their sin. In fact, he desires that all of us, we turn away from our sin and we do what is pleasing to him. This is the very reason why Jesus came to this earth to seek and to save the lost. I'm sure you know the passage about the Great Commission. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20, it tells us to go and to all the people and make disciples of all the people. We are to baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son of the, and the Holy Spirit. And we are to teach them to obey everything that Jesus commanded us. And Jesus will be with them in this age up to the end of the age. Just like Jesus, guys we too should go and tell others about the love of Jesus Christ. And especially those who have backslidden and those who are lost, we should tell them that there is so much hope that Jesus loves them, Jesus cares for them and welcomes them. So you may be there and you are saying, yeah, I'm lost and I really want to make Jesus my friend. Joshua is going to help us by taking us through a prayer of salvation. Joshua, would you like to take us through? Yes. Um, let us bow our heads and pray. Dear, uh, oh God. Oh God. God. Thank you for giving us this day. Thank, thank you for giving us this day. Please forgive my sins. Please, Please forgive, forgive my sins. And write my name. And write my name. In the book of life. In the book of life. Help me. Help, help me. To do your will, oh God. To, to do, do your will. will. Oh Lord. In Jesus' name we pray and believe. In, In Jesus', Jesus name, name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Congratulations for saying this prayer. Uh, please share with the people around you that you have given your life to Christ. Please tell your Sunday school teacher and pastor so that they may continue praying for, for you. Join a Bible-believing church near you and fellowship with the people there. This will help you grow in your Christian faith. Thank you, Joshua, for taking us through the prayer of salvation. And congratulations, <laughs> boys and girls, if you made Jesus your friend. Now, we are going to hear about the memory verse. Kindly repeat after us as, we, as Joshua takes us through it. Our memory verse today comes from Luke chapter uh, 15, verse 7. Please repeat after me. I tell you that in the same way, I, I tell, tell you, you that, that in the same way, there will be more rejoicing in heaven. There, there will be more rejoicing in heaven, heaven over one sinner who repents. Over, over one sinner who repents. Then over 99 righteous persons. Then over 99 righteous persons. Who do not need to repent. Who, who do not, not need to repent. repent. Let us repeat again. Luke chapter 15 verse 7. Luke, Luke chapter 15 verse 7. It says. It says. I tell you that in the same way. I, I tell, tell you that, that in the same way. There will be more rejoicing in heaven. There will be, be more rejoicing in heaven. Over one sinner who repents. Over one sinner who repents. Then over 99 righteous persons. Then over 99 righteous persons, persons. Who do not need to repent. Who do not need to repent. Wow, what an encouraging story about the lost sheep. I am glad that Jesus Christ is very concerned about you, about me, and about all of us. Now, he's also concerned when we lose things. He's concerned when we lose people who are very dear to us. He's also concerned when we lose direction in our lives, when we seem confused, stressed. He is going to help us. You see, guys, he's there to lead us, to guide us, and also to restore all things to us. Please remember to fill out your journal in the coming week ahead. And also, you can go to our social media pages to find where you, where you can download it. Guys, keep believing, keep trusting, and keep sharing the love of God with those who are lost, those who have backslidden, and those who have never heard about Jesus Christ. And God will give you the courage to witness about him. Now, Nerea, we have come to the end of our topic. Would you want to pray with us as we end? 
Kindly let us bow our heads for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful day. Oh Lord, I'm only asking you, please be with those sinners. Please be with them, cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us. From us, here we say bye-bye. And God bless you. <laughs>